All right, guys, what's up? Your friendly programmer here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be creating the game object class, and that's going to be an abstract class that all of our game objects are going to end up extending. So it's going to outline the very basic methods that all of our game objects, so our player class, our enemy class, um, are going to 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 need. So this is a very important class, and you'll see this come up in a lot of um, game development tutorials. And so, yeah, this is a very exciting um, episode. So with that, let's get right into the coding. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create another package. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's name this com.game.object. And let's go ahead and finish that. And in here, let's go ahead and create a new class. And let's go ahead and call that gameObject.java. And let's go ahead and finish that. And let's open that up. So in here, you can go ahead and write abstract before this class. So abstract. And so the reason why we want to do abstract is because we want this class to be extendable. And we want to have a couple functions in here that aren't going to be implemented um, within this game object class. So we want the extending class to implement them. Um, some methods, for example, include the tick method. So we're going to have an update function. And we want that update function to differ depending on if it's a player or an enemy or a different game object. Let's go ahead and save that. And before we start writing code in this class, let's make a couple updates to the Windows class, or the game game.java class. So let's go back here and let's scroll to the bottom. Um, and down here, we just want to create a couple getter methods. So let's go to the very bottom of our file. And let's type public static int get window height. And in here, go ahead and write return window height. And below this, let's do public static int get window width. And let's go ahead and return window width. Now, if you remember um, in one of the previous episodes, we created this constant called window height and this constant called window width. And you can see if we scroll to the top, there it is. And these are private um, variables or private constants. And so we can't access these outside of this class. And so the way we get around that is we create a public um, getter method so that we can get this constant through this method. Um, and you'll see this sort of function come up a lot in this tutorial. These are called getter functions. And it's a way to be able to access private variables um, outside of the class that the private variable is created. So let's go ahead and save that. And we're going to need these for this game object class. OK, so let's also create another package. And let's name it. Or Sorry, let's create another package first. And let's name it com.game.object.util. 
and let's go ahead and finish. And this will be a package where we have utility uh, functionality for our, our game objects or our, our objects. Um, and in here, we will create a class and we'll call it object ID. And we'll finish that. And we actually want to make this an enum um, instead of a class. So we'll do public enum and then object ID. And in here, we will do, we'll type in player, comma, enemy, comma, block, comma, and pipe. So these are going to be the four object IDs for now um, that we're going to have in our game. And for those of you who haven't used a enum before, I'll give a, a brief description or an explanation of what that is. So you can think of an enum as a string object um, where you define the values that that string could be. So in our case, our enum can only be these four values. Um, and you'll see how this game, ob or game ID enum is going to be used um, in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's go back to our game object uh, job, the class that we created before. And so now we're going to go ahead and create our, or we're going to write, write our code for this, this um, abstract class. So let's start by creating a couple instance variables. So let's do private float x, private float y. Let's do private object ID ID. Let's do private float velocity x velocity y. Let's do private float width height. And let's do private int scale. So oh, and let's Go ahead and import this object ID enum that we just created. And to explain what each of these variables represent, so these X and Y variables are going to be the position um, of the game object. The object ID is going to be the, the object ID or the object type that this, this game object represents the velocity x and velocity y are going to be the velocity in the x or y direction uh, velocity you can also think of velocity as the speed so the speed in the x direction or the speed in the y direction the width and the height are the width and the height of the game object so how wide is the object or how how tall is the object and the scale is going to be a scale on the width and the height. So a scale of two will um, make the game object double in width or and double in height. So that's what that is. And let's go ahead and create a constructor class now. So public game object float x float y object id id float width float height and in scale and in here let's go ahead and do this dot x equals x time scale this dot y is equal to y times scale this dot id is equal to id this dot width is equal to width time scale Oops, I made a couple typos here and this dot height is equal to height time scale and this dot scale is equal to scale so we're just initializing our um, the, the, the values that we passed in through our constructor 
um, to the instance variables of this class. And let's go ahead and create a couple abstract methods here. 